if you uh, booked a commercial right now and it said, okay, but it, it films. Oh yeah. Then LA. I would go because yeah. there's money. Every time that I'm in a commercial where I'm with pals that I've either worked with uh, on other commercials, I'm just, I'm, I do everything that I can to make sure that they get buy up because I hate the notion of getting booked on something going to shoot and then them not using the final cut of something. Mm -hmm. And that's happened to good friends of mine where I've worked with them on, on a set, like on the Colgate, they went with something that we shot as a last minute idea. And that became the main thing. And it felt so bad because the main, main idea got cut. The Mm. main, main idea of the Colgate one was all of us planking two thousands. It was like everybody planked and, and whatever. And it was like, who wrote this copy? No offense. I have no idea. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it was like the the idea was that you know uh, Colgate. It was like something about 2010, and then it cuts to everyone planking, and so everybody who was planking would have gotten the the buyout. But they scrapped that for the shake weight. So I right. did the the shake weight bit was an improv. They gave me the shake weight, and they were just like, "You two, um, you say something." And it wasn't written. I just did. It's yeah. a weight. You, it's a weight you shake or whatever, and that was became the main thing. And they cut the rest. And I was like, "Holy shit!" I feel so bad for the three other people that were in this planking with me that went to the audition, went to the callback, went as far as getting the hold, and then boom, nothing. If you book it, congratulations! You booked it. You you went to the commercial. You went to, or rather, you went to the audition. They loved you so much. You went to the callback. Uh, you got put on hold, which is always. The or pin worst. or first refusal. None of them are different. They're all the same. These thing. are they're all the same, and it just means limbo. Essentially, it means yeah. you are. It, it it just means your second choice. Essentially, yeah. I yeah. think because they they pick somebody and they're waiting to hear back if that person will do it, mm-hmm. and if not, then they'll go to the first you. refusal or or me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so congratulations, you booked it. Actually, uh, thinking about that, pin is probably better, right? Because pin is pin like is, you're in the mix. Pin is pin is like I think it's like you're down to like it's down to like the final 3 kind of thing. Like you're yeah. pinned up on the board and they're just d- just doing the final. But decision. then first refusal like sounds pretty good too because it's almost like do you have the first refusal? Like you are the first choice and you get to I, refuse or are you the first once the other person refu- I see I've had this commercial I've had this question or this conversation so many times I believe my understanding of it is that after you are second choice so after hmm. the first person refuses they come to you but why the would they refusal. refuse scheduling conflicts I don't mm, know but you have to true. you have to say these things up front before any commercial you have to say if you have any schedule conflicts if you have any uh, prior work conflicts ah. uh, so if you know, say I did a commercial for Coke, um, you know, in 2019, I can't be going out to a Pepsi commercial nope. within the same year. Um, usually, I think typically the span is like, as long as it's off the air, you're mm-hmm. good to go. Because exclusivity, uh, right? Exactly. They they don't want you selling the same like type of product. That would be right. really cheapening to both of them, actually. Mm-hmm. And really and really unfair to the client themselves, actually. Um so, uh, so like, or, you know, uh, I did a Subaru one, but, uh, one year and, uh, I kept getting submitted and called for other car commercials like BMW yeah. or whatever. And I had to remind Sarah, I was like, no, 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 I can't go to these. I've still right. got the Subaru one on the hook. That was, it was like under a year when that one just came out. Car commercials are so lucrative. They're usually yeah. the most boring to do Yeah, because you just sit in the back seat and you, you know, you just chilling or you're driving I, was, I don't know that's true if you're driving you're usually the one who has the most most to do because you'll be the one talking to the director you'll be talking to the person driving the actual rig in front yeah. of you uh i was surprised about how how strict they are with car safety when you're shooting because you're commercial. the one who's driving right because you're well, you're being tugged along by the wagon thing i've done oh, that. i mean right. i mean i mean in the sense of uh, they want, uh, they want everybody buckled up. They want, you know, headrests, not too high. Yeah. Uh, hands at 10 and two. Uh, I, in one, one particular scene I had, we had a birthday cake. Um, hmm. and they told us, uh, no, 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 you can't light. You can't have open flames in the car, which makes sense. Oh, they so, were, they, oh, they were going to eat the cake. We were, we were like, going to like, we were leaving our car and surprising our friend with a cake. Ooh. Like as we left a car, we're like, ah, 
surprise we caught you like um oh, interesting and you improv uh, like did you did one of you like the actors in the car improv the act of like hey lighting the candles or was it like in the script that that was going to happen uh I couldn't tell you what we did. Uh, we might have done because I remember the final cut was a half second that oh. you actually see us. But that half second still needs to get paid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's what uh, that that's a good uh, point is they, they don't pay you by the hour and they also don't pay you for how long you're on screen for the nope. 30 seconds or 15 seconds. As long as there's a Ooh, there's a flat. Oh, was that him? If if you are recognizable on screen, yes. If you if you can clearly see your face, likeness, they have to pay you a buyout. Yes. Uh, if uh, you might get different payout rates depending on the role. Mm -hmm. um, I know I had a friend who uh, he was uh, featured. He was one of the featured extras in a. Uh, I couldn't tell you what commercial it was, but sure. they, they it, it it was shot around a a, a golf course green, and he was standing next to a guy who was just holding a hot dog hmm. and the guy holding the hot dog got paid like 500 more dollars. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't doing anything else like relevant to the commercial. Like I don't think it was related to the product, but just the fact that he was doing something that stood out a little bit more. Yeah. Meant he got more One money. time I was, I played a sandwich, like a sandwich mascot. Like, I remember, that was a uh, Mayo, right? Yeah. Right. For Mayo yeah. for Heinz. And I did something really sneaky. They were doing six cuts of the commercial. And I read on the contract that each cut, for each different medium, if your likeness is appeared, then you will get paid an additional like three grand per. So I was yeah. scheduled to be in three of them uh, each, but then there were three more that they were shooting that I was in the background, which I would only get paid, you right. know, the regular. So I understood. Fee, yeah. I would go to the video, video village, check out the shot, and understand where i would need to stand to be in focus to the extent that i would my likeness would appear so i would go in and i'd be like oh i need to stand like here like over the shoulder of the lead so i got ended up getting paid for all six <laughs> oh that's so sneaky you're like that you're like that one extra who goes like hey or something so they he gets an extra line in <laughs> they have to pay him <laughs> It's true though. Sometimes you got to hustle, you know, because if you get booked for three, but you're in the background for the other three, why don't you just try to sneak your way up? You uh, know? So the, the Bahamas commercials that I shot, yeah, uh, they, they managed to put something together last minute, I think to meet a deadline where it's just a bunch of hand models dipping food into hummus. Okay. And then it's a shot of me eating hummus for two seconds. But I think that was the only one of that series that they actually aired. Oh. So I don't know, but I may have been the only person to actually get paid the buyout. Oh, because for... your hand was in it. Your it hand wasn't was my hand. It. Like there's a shot of me, like my face eating, chewing. Uh, the rest of it is just hand models dipping, but none of the other actors. It's just a shot of me chewing and going like, mm, Oh yeah, that's then... enough to get you paid for sure. But I think I might've been the only one out of all of those other all of my co-stars i also i, I, I never I, asked <laughs>